What up, curious explorers? Tis the season for holiday joy, but also the season for some holiday science, which got me thinking. What if Rudolph's nose wasn't just shiny, but a real scientific super light, capable of lighting up the entire North Pole and of course, every chimney across the globe? Well, today, we're diving into luminosity, snowstorms, and how reindeer tech connects to modern day headlights. <laughs> Look at the tail on this bad boy. Welcome to Maynard's wild world of science. Now, I may not look like Santa, but I can do a pretty good Santa Claus voice. <laughs> not bad, right? However, one thing I can't do is copy one of this holiday's most incredible technological achievements, a natural bright red nose that's able to light up the night sky. For Rudolph's nose to be able to guide a Santa Claus sleigh, it must emit light strong enough to cut through one of nature's toughest conditions, a snowstorm. So here are three key terms that will help us better understand this amazing ability. Number one, luminosity. This is how bright a light source actually is and describes the state of producing or reflecting bright light. Number two, scattering. This is the behavior of light as it bounces off particles, causing it to reflect in various directions. And number three, visible spectrum. Different types of light exist all across the universe, but the visible spectrum is the wavelength of light that we humans can see. If Rudolph's nose was like a little light bulb, it would need enough luminosity to shine through all that blowing snow. But just how bright would our favorite reindeer's glow have to be? <laughs> If you've ever driven during a snowstorm, especially at night, it almost seems like you're flying through space at warp speed. That's because snowflakes are made up of special crystalline patterns in various symmetrical shapes. As light from a car headlamp bounces off these unique patterns, it reflects in many directions, with most of it bouncing right back to your eye, creating a pretty crazy optical illusion that looks like you're flying through space and time. Even snow that's settled in large piles on the ground reflects light. That's why sometimes after a snowy day, it looks completely bright outside because the reflected light is scattering in all directions. In order for Rudolph to truly light up a visible pathway for Santa to see, his nose would need to be much brighter than a normal flashlight, probably closer to the brightness of a high luminosity car headlamp in order to light the way. So just think about this, as Santa is hopping from house to house, chimney to chimney, Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer is flying around with the equivalent of around 3200 lumens on the tip of his nose. How's that for? Shining. <laughs> Freshly fallen snow reflects more visible light than any other natural surface. This visible spectrum that we can see is only a small portion of a much larger spectrum of light known as the electromagnetic spectrum. This includes everything from low energy microwaves to high energy gamma rays. Light towards the end of the electromagnetic spectrum can be radioactive, causing damage to the human body. Fortunately, the red light from Rudolph's nose shines at a wavelength of around 700 nanometers. So Santa should consider himself pretty lucky that he only emits light in the visible spectrum. Otherwise, your presence under the tree would be glowing for a whole different reason. <laughs> the LED headlamps and fog lights on the cars that we drive use focus beams and specific color temperatures so that light can cut through snow, fog, or mist, allowing you to drive safely even in the roughest of conditions. Light bulbs in the past were mostly halogen, which produced up to 1200 lumens with their high beams. Today, engineering advancements in LED technology can produce headlights with over 4,000 lumens that emit a much wider and brighter light for better visibility while also reducing energy usage. So whether it's on cars, bikes, or adventure gear, lights help people see in all conditions, including the snow, by using angles and brightness levels to help reduce scattering, which means that the red lighting on Rudolph's nose is pretty high tech. <laughs> If you're ever in a snowstorm and want to see better, make sure your headlights are pointed downward. Looking straight ahead with your high beams causes the light to bounce off the crystalline patterns in the snow, 
right back into your eyes. A downward angle reduces glare and increases visibility. You can try this with a flashlight, headlamp, or nose light to see how the scattering of light affects your ability to see in the snow. So this journey through Rudolph's magical ability to light up a Christmas night proves to be much more than just a glowing experience. It's one that explores the unique behavior of the visible spectrum, which enables snow to reflect its brilliant white, the high brightness that allows for a safe and jolly venture, and the super cool tech that gives an average reindeer superhero-like powers. So this Christmas, as you're waiting for that special present under the tree, if you are nice and not naughty, of course, Think about lumens and wavelengths that make up Rudolph's powerful nostrils. You may never look at a white Christmas the same again. And as I always say, a cool mind is a curious one. See you next time. <laughs>